In tonight's Seven Up Front segment, we're focusing on one of the state's greatest assets, the Great Lakes, of course. More than a dozen scientists from the U.S. and Canada will soon begin a first-of-its-kind study. Pleased to be joined this evening by Dr. Ted Ozersky with the University of Minnesota Duluth. Dr. Ozersky, welcome. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this big research project you have coming up this month and, and the reason for it. Sure. So uh, this research project that we're calling uh, the Winter Grab is a collaborative project between uh, almost a dozen institutions in uh, Canada and the U.S., uh, universities and government agencies, to try and understand more about what the Great Lakes do in the winter. And um, what uh, your viewers may not know is that over the many decades that the Great Lakes have been studied, very few studies have actually looked at what the Great Lakes do uh, in the winter. So the goal of this project is to start uh, filling this information gap. So you want to learn, and, and does climate change factor into uh, what you hope or expect maybe to learn here? Yeah, for sure. So uh, the climate, uh, the winter climate around the Great Lakes has been uh, changing over the last few decades. And we see this uh, in warmer winter temperatures. We see this in uh, reduced extent and duration of ice cover on the Great Lakes and changing winter precipitation patterns. And because we understand so little about the ecological behavior of the Great Lakes during the winter, we're, uh, as a scientific community, uh, not well positioned to predict what the future holds uh, for the Great Lakes and for the ecosystem services they provide uh, to the residents of the Great Lakes watershed as um, the climate continues to change. So and the goal of this project, oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, and help our viewers understand, I guess, what makes this work uh, so important, especially as we move forward. Sure. So um, over the many decades that the Great Lakes have been studied, pretty much all uh, you know, the vast majority of the studies that have been done on the Great Lakes have uh, looked at the summer season. But uh, the Great Lakes behave from the few studies that have been done in the winter uh, very differently in the winter than they do in the summer. So because uh, we have so little information about what the Great Lakes do in the winter and how winter conditions like winter temperatures or the amount of ice on the Great Lakes uh, affect the Great Lakes ecosystem, we're not in a good position to predict what the future uh, holds for the Great Lakes and, and what they do for uh, the people that live in their watershed. And hopefully you'll get some answers. We have to leave it there, unfortunately, but this is important work going forward. We'll, uh, we'll track your progress and, uh, and check back in uh, after you complete your work as well. Doctor, thank you. Thank you.